Wow. <laughs> Get too old for this. No, he's worn out and we haven't started. Yeah, right. Let's see, well, we were supposed to be here on January the 21st, I think it was. Was that right, Bruce? Something like that. Yeah, we started yeah. off real early and you guys yeah. were all sick. Yeah. yeah. So we decide what the hell we're gonna stay home. We don't want to get sick. <laughs> Speaking of being sick, I just spent a good part of last night in in the hospital. Not for me, but my daughter. So if I fall asleep during the performance, just wake me up. Okay? Yeah. Kicking the shins. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah, let's see. And then the February the fourth, we were supposed to be in. Frank Town for what is it, Beckwithin District? Beckwithin District Friendship. Friendship Club. Senior Friendship Club. Yeah. yeah. We missed a free meal there. Yeah, yeah, because it snowed. <laughs> oh, and they got they got a call from a lot of their members saying, no, oh, they weren't going to go because the snow was too bad. And it was sort of a good situation for me because. You know, I, I drive drive one of the vehicles with a lot of the equipment, and it was a dirty night out, and I thought, God, you know, if I had didn't have to go out, it'd be great. So I had, well, I better load up the truck. Got my boots on, got my coat on, and the phone rang, and it was Gord saying, the thing's been cancelled, so hey, I didn't have to unload the truck, because I never got it loaded. So it's going to be a... It's, been a, a very quiet winter for us. Yeah, so you 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 have the pleasure of our premier 2015 performance. <laughs> hey. Okay, let's we'll introduce ourselves with our theme song. We're here to entertain you. We're here to drink your beer. We hope you like to listen to dance and do and cheer. We've got a past behind us, but we'd like to look ahead. But most of all, you've got to know we're grateful we're not dead. We're grateful we're not dead. We're grateful we're not dead. Yeah, most of all, you've got to know we're grateful we're not dead. Well, we like to play the old songs by Willie Burrow and Buck. And cheating, lying, drinking, prison and pickup. that scotch late at night. That did it. <laughs> okay, we're going to let uh, Bruce get his uh, nails on here. Actually, I was reading something the other day about marriage. It says marriage is like a deck of cards. All you need is two, diamond, or two hearts and a diamond to start, and by the end you wish you had a spade and a club. Ooh, <laughs> 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 
Alan's going to hear about that one. Okay, I see Bruce all warmed up here. We're going to do an old Charlie Fry one called Crystal Chandelier. All the crystal chandeliers light up the paintings on your wall. The marble statuettes are standing safely in the hall. Will the tiny crowd that has you laughing louder help you dry your tears? And the new wears off of your crystal chandelier. Thank you to be different, but you'll always 
here. I just threw a little test at them. I skipped over the second course. <laughs> and it took and a, they jumped, they followed me perfectly. Took a couple of words and we were with them. What were the words? The words were, I begged. <laughs> By that time we figured out we weren't with him. <laughs> so in that case, I want to give you 98%. Oh God, okay. <laughs> This is a, oh this next one this is a song my my father used to to sing all the time in, in a band we had called Mississippi River Boys. Yeah, this comes from back in what I guess in the seventies sometime. So Don now has been playing what 40, 45 years something like that. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. I started New Year's Eve, nineteen fifty-eight. Yeah. So so you've been playing a little longer oh, yeah. than that. There. Yeah. You're, you're, you're now heading for about sixty. I wouldn't change a single thing about you if I could The way you are just suits me to a tease A princess in a storybook, a queen upon a throne That's what you are and you belong to me Be your name. 
If I can suggest, Don, that might be a more appropriate thing to say to your wife or sing to your wife rather than that joke you had. <laughs> you might get a better response. Uh, on that previous uh, joke, have you heard the definition of marriage? It's, it's finding the one person you want to annoy for the rest of your life. No, no, no. What's oh, that? No. The wives are taking the beating. <laughs> It's one, uh, 146, 147. Yeah, so. So 147. Good conference as to what we're playing here. Yeah. <laughs> and how to find it on these newfangled electronic things. Well, you're the one having trouble with it, Gord. The rest of us are fine. <laughs> There's a learning curve here. There is. There are others that take Well, we were hoping not much more than a year. <laughs> well, that gives me another nine months or so, right? You might take it. I might. That's right. Yes, I know about your lover. I know he's not your child.
was telling me that down where he was staying, they have a gym. And he went into the gym every morning to work out a little bit. And he was in there last Wednesday morning. And uh, the sweet young thing came into the gym. And she sort of sashayed by him and kind of caught his, his attention. That was my wife. So he, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, sure. so, so he turned to the trainer that was working with him and he said, which machine do you think I should use to better attract this little, you know, this young lady's attention? So the trainer turned and took a look at him, looked him up and down. He said, well, I would suggest the ATM out in the lobby. <laughs> It, wor it worked. <laughs> and speaking of things like that, <laughs> I stepped out of the shower and I got a good look at myself. Hot bar, <laughs> ball of header, thought it was somebody else. started to deteriorate, so to speak. For example, my memory wasn't as good as it used to be. Over and gone back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, when we started up this band 12 years ago, I knew there was no way I could remember the lyrics for, you know, two or three hundred songs and the chord changes and all that, like I used to when I was just a young buck. So we put together books back, you know, back when we started out, you know, I think you've seen us here with those big black books. Now we've got these dinky little digital tablets. And we had to print in a large enough font so that we could see it and then just stand at the right distance. 
and we had the, the all the lyrics in different colors so we'd know you know whether we were in a verse or a chorus and yeah help with the memory and jog the memory. Uh, the other thing of course my eyes weren't as good as they used to be. Now they're great with these tablets, they're backlit, eh? So no matter where I'm standing I can see this thing. What else happened? Yeah, right. <laughs> Gotta remember where it is. The other thing, how many of you uh, remember Kojak and Tully Savalas? Eh? Remember Kojak? Well, Gordon and I suffer from premature cojaculation. <laughs> now, my grandson decided to help me out a little bit. I think Gord, Gord has a, a, a similar sort of uh, oh yeah, prop, I guess. <laughs> So my, for my 71st birthday, my grandson got me a wig. <laughs> but it takes half a day to get this thing on. There we go. <laughs> oh, you're cute. <laughs> we need a picture of that on the website. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Love your afro. <laughs> Not bad. Eh? Not bad. <laughs> Almost as good as an ATM. So, anyways, in the morning now when I get up, you know, I put on my glasses, get the hair in my mouth. <laughs> nice color. Put, put on my hair. Yikes. Put on my compression stockings, hoping that it'll push the blood up as far as my waist. And then, I'm ready to face the day. However, as a result of all these little problems, a few years ago I wrote a little, little song to document them. So.
the series. Okay, we'll just stick on that theme for one more song. That was age we were talking about. <laughs> Remember all the things you used to be able to do and you can't anymore? Now well, here's a song about that.
make me feel fine. Oh, uh-huh. 
a song by uh, a chap down in, in Nashville. Actually, he was from the Bronx. He can, describes himself as an overweight Jewish boy making it big in the backwoods of the USA. So. <laughs> anyway, I just fell in love with this song and, and we used to just play it you know, Christmas and New Year's. So that's what, he wrote it in 2010, I found it in 2011, so 11, 12, 13. Yeah, okay, so, well done. hey, I can count. Anyway, uh, I decided I was going to move it into our main book, out of our Christmas book, into our main book, because I felt the song suited any time of the year. You could almost do it for a birthday party, actually. So we uh, pra have practiced it a wee bit, not as much as I'd like to, so if we make a mistake, yeah. <laughs> 
we'll try not we'll try not all to make the same mistake at one time at the same time. <laughs> but anyways, we we uh, had a practice there a few weeks ago, and, and I had a little recorder sitting in in the room, and it sounded you know the the, the version we did sounded fairly decent, so we put it up on SoundCloud. And I sent the link to this Rob Wolf, who was the, the writer. Well, he was happier than hell. He just thought that was great, that we would liked his song long enough that we were going to start, you know, play it all the time. So he has, has uh, sort of given us a blessing to, his blessing to, to go ahead and, and use this song. So it's called Brand New Old Lang Syne. dead song, although we do one. And uh, we even have it up in the net. We've never gotten a lawyer's letter, so they must figure we did it bad enough that it's not going <laughs> to bother them. So. It's called Ripple. Oh, oh, oh. 
He's ignoring him. I'm ignoring you. Ben, you're that part as well. There's a woman with a paint. Actually, being with Bruce like that makes Don feel at home being ignored. <laughs> and who can blame her, eh, after what you heard?
Okay, it's looking like that time. About that time. So uh, we can't. Uh, you remember this? <laughs> okay. We can't leave without doing this song. <laughs> oh. Visual aids together. <laughs> I've likely told this story before, but I imagine there's somebody here that hasn't heard it. Al decided we needed these hats to go with this song, which I found on the internet. God, it has to be 15 years ago or so, written by a guy named John D. Wilson. And anyway, he sat down at his computer with his computer aided design program and he designed the hats. He printed out the pattern, marked up the fabric, cut it out, and then he asked his wife if she would sew them. I, I thought you... And his, her response was something equivalent to Pierre Trudeau's Fuddle Duddle. <laughs> <laughs> so he got his wife to show him how to use the sewing machine, and he sewed them up. Oh. So like I said, that was the seamstress of the band. And he's taking orders. Yes. <laughs> You're looking for a new pair? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just make boots for me. They're about my very favorite thing to see. Silicone. 
Bye. God bless you. Thank you very much. You. See you next time. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. I just want to say thank you for watching. So weren't they great? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I just wanted to also mention that the Grateful We're Not Dead played for us when we donate to a charity. So remember last month we were we did a white elephant sale and we had hearts for sale. We raised two hundred and eighteen dollars for heart and stroke. Good. So thank you very much. So let's give a big round of applause. Thank you.